Okay, uh, so I've been working on an invention and I'm going to explain how it works. This is totally something that you could do um, and or uh, something that you could uh, take in and move in a different direction as well um, for the Raspberry Pi Bake Off. So uh, what you're looking at here is um, inside there is a Raspberry Pi 3. Uh, I wanted to use the Raspberry Pi 3 inside here me open the cover. So I used a Raspberry Pi 3 and on top of it is a Grove Pi. That's optional. That's just so I can have this little screen here printing me a, a welcoming message. Um, but the cool part is of this invention is that when the Raspberry Pi 3, which is underneath all of this, when this thing sees me walk into the room, or rather when it sees my Bluetooth that's on my phone, it will turn on that lamp over there. Um, and so, and the way it does that is by using this relay that's behind here. So this relay is, so I cut this uh, extension cord um, and then I taped it to this relay so it won't pull out. And then I, uh, you can see the, the cable goes right into the relay. And so if I, uh, if I turn off the Bluetooth on my phone, this thing will first print, uh, I can't see you anymore, Mr. A, and then after a couple seconds, uh, it'll then cut the power on the lamp over there. Uh, so that way I don't have to turn off uh, my light. It will just turn off when I leave the room. Um, and so that, that's why I use the Raspberry Pi 3, because it has built-in Bluetooth and Wi-Fi, uh, you can add that to a Raspberry Pi 2, but you'd have to get those extra cards, and they're not as reliable. Um, with the Raspberry Pi 3, it, it's a snap. It's a snap. So let me go over how I did this. First, buy a Raspberry Pi. Then get yourself a relay. Um, there are all sorts of different types of relays. Um, a two-channel relay, uh, really only, uh, so you got one, you got two, only runs about uh, seven bucks. Uh, if you wanted to, you can get a bigger one and turn more things on and off uh, depending on uh, if you're there. Or uh, You can do an 8-channel relay, and this is fun because you could uh, run um, like uh, Christmas lights through here, and they can turn on and off to music, for example. That's how people do it. Um, so uh, you'll notice uh, here, if, I, if this picture would uh, stay, you'll notice uh, it has three uh, uh, dots. Uh, so each uh, on-off switch has three, which doesn't make sense because the cable only has two ends if you cut it. Um, but these two, so something always goes into the middle. That's the common. And then this one is when the when uh, the relay has no power. These are these two are connected. Uh, when the relay has no power, these two are not connected. So if you have something whose default state you want off you plug it into these two. If you want the default state to be on, you plug it into these two instead. Um, so you can you can switch between them. Um, and you could have a different wire that can connect, these two are connected um, when it's on, and these two are connected when it's off. So that that's not just turning on and off, that's connecting it to a whole different thing. If you wanted that, you can, that can also be an option. Um, if that makes any sense to you. Uh, if not, you know, uh, and uh, don't even worry about it. Okay, so next I googled how to use a relay with a Raspberry Pi. This is an old Raspberry Pi, but the principle should be the same, and then I saw all this stuff and I freaked out for a while. Okay, but after a while it didn't get too hairy. Um, so right here you can see some of the GPIO pins. Okay, so my GPIO pin, so the GPIO pins are actually uh, sort of right here, that they're plugged into the, the board that's sitting on top of it. Um, but then this board has pins that stick out. And so you can still use the pins even if they first run through this expansion card that I have on top of it. So, um, uh, so the pins right here, you can see this red one, I color coded it so it's easier for me to understand. This red wire is the same thing as this port right here. That's my 5 volt. So that's the power that's coming out of this. And then to make a circuit, you need to have the power and then a ground. And so the ground is the black cable that you can see there. Um, well, that you can sort of see there. 
Um, and so that black cable uh, is the power. And then you need the GPIO pin. That's actually where you can send the signal. Um, and it was just high or low is all that the signal is, is sending. Um, but now this goes over to the relay. It's over here. Um, if you can sort of see that. So the relay just needs um, power, ground, and the signal. And when you send the signal on, then it turns it on. And when you send it uh, low power, then it turns it off. Um, and that's just the sort of the switch there. Okay, so that's all the, the hardware that I had to do. Um, because this cable uh, didn't plug in straight into that one, they go into a breadboard, uh, which is like this thing. This connects them to. You see the two red wires connect to each other, the two black wires connect to each other, and the two green wires uh, connect to each other under there. Uh, so that's how all of this uh, project is uh, wired together. I mean, it's super, super easy. Uh, once you stop freaking out that about these crazy charts and all of these wires and stuff. So all I did was I plugged in power, ground, and the GPIO port. And this is, it's pin number 8, but that's GPIO number 14. Um, there's a difference. This is the board and this is what's called the BCM. Um, I have no idea who, uh, what the what what BCM stands for. Um, I'm not even going to look it up right now because I'm going to show you something else. So this is the programming that went into into the uh, the app that controls the relay. And you can see this was the text that was shown up on the colored LCD that I showed. Um, all of this is extra. I, I bought the LCD and, and uh, that Grove Pie that sits on top of it. You don't need that for just the Bluetooth uh, invention. So all you need is, uh, so all of this stuff is extra um, and the random, that's, that's so it chooses a random color on the LCD. But all you really need is uh, Bluetooth and the uh, Raspberry Pi. Um, and so uh, I, I added them up at the top and again, I, you know, just bring the project over to my classroom after school and I can help you set all this stuff up. And then I list what pins I have plugged into. And only 14, that's the only signal. Um, the power and the ground just run all automatically. You don't need to set them up. But this one, you, you do. And so um, I set up now that all the pins in my list, uh, they're set up so I, I'm sending signal out. And they're not taking signals in. And I would like you to um, uh, start, start it off by turning on. Um, and so now uh, the sleep timer is is how many seconds in between uh, the computer checking to see if I'm around. Um, and then I also have a counter uh, here. But so this is a while true, so it's going to uh, loop infinitely. And I'm trying. I put the try here in case in case one of these things isn't working. Instead of crashing the whole thing, um, it'll just I, it'll try and it'll and I'll give up. Um, it'll, so it protects it from crashing if suddenly the Bluetooth isn't working. So uh, I try to look up um, my Bluetooth code and um, I give it a five second timeout and then if it finds it, uh, so if result uh, does not equal nothing, so if I, if I found it, um, then I will say I'll I'll say he's uh, Mr. A's here, and uh, the only important part really is this guy um, that it turns on. The count I'm using, uh, if I don't see myself, then I start, I count one and say, whoa, did, did Mr. A really leave? And then um, after another sleep cycle, it'll come back to this, and if they, it'll, it'll increase the count another, and uh, then it will actually turn off. Um, I give it that extra check just so if if my Bluetooth if it doesn't see it for a second, not to freak out, but to double to wait and double check so it won't turn on off the lights on me for no reason. Um, and that's that's the whole app. 
Uh, I can totally help you walk through this if you're interested in uh, building something like this by all means I also have tons of other ideas that you can try again you, you know the whole thing is costs under 50 bucks uh, and so uh, you can totally uh, get that going and and wiring the stuff together as uh, sure you know uh, slicing up uh, up uh, an extension cord and plugging it into a relay is a uh, careful work um, but um, you know you can probably ask Mr. Vanek real nice and he he does that better th than me certainly but um, but I can help you out as well anyway good luck uh, hope you're making some progress